Echeveria colorata. This colorata. I've had four. Okay, let's take it down. Miss Colorata here had just produced the most beautiful babies. Look at that. So I've got, I don't even want to count it. So I got one, two, three, four, five. What's so special? Oh, seven. Look, seven. Is there more at the front? Eight. Yes, eight, eight. Okay. What's so special about Miss Colorata? At one stage, it actually looked like it rotted, but it's not. So there's one form or one type of root rot that you probably want to have. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. One type of root rot that you probably want to have is when the leaves rot and there's a baby underneath because that can happen. They haven't got the space so the bottom leaves will normally rot just so they can give way for or create a space for the little baby to pop out or else they got nowhere to grow and they're gonna choke and die <laughs> so that you won't have a baby oh hang on i see but then eventually it dries out so this colorata has been living out here in the shade but look how beautiful it is the colors so in the sun they will grow more compact so compact is more like this and unpack is like that so that's unpack <laughs> and compact okay so this is more uh open okay so I'm going to put it back here and this one this is slow to start so when I had the original plant it's only one plant and I think it might have a little baby on the side it might be a tiny one and it took so long to grow that eventually when it did grow it produced all these babies at once so it's really a nice surprise for me because I haven't had a colorata baby yet and uh, leaf propagation I wasn't even given the chance or didn't have the opportunity to propagate uh, via leaf because there a uh, very limited amount of space it has from the bottom of the plant is so compact that I tried pulling one leaf off and it just broke off so I stopped Okay, so now it has produced a lot of babies and at this stage when the babies are that size, I'm still not going to remove that because maybe a couple of them might be terminal or it'll start producing flower because this one hasn't flowered yet. And I'm not too sure whether that's actually a baby or a terminal plant, which means when it's terminal, it's not going to grow but just flower and basically die so also this is grown in the shade so if you have limited space and you haven't got anywhere to grow plants out in the open that you can expose it to the sun to get maximum full color well echeveria colorata or echeveria or echeveria colorata is the plant for you because even in the shade it's still beautiful The soil that I planted them in is I planted them in in this terracotta pot in my master succulent soil mix and also watering wise they don't need much watering so I only had a really good soaking so when I first got the plant I planted it in this pot and after putting the soil in or putting the plant in the soil I soak the whole pot in water and after a couple of days I put it away and I only ever watered it once after that so I had the plant for almost three years now and it took three years to grow seven babies for this plant some plants will grow babies and some won't so in this case, I'm lucky enough to have so many babies, but it still took three years to achieve this. And since it's out in the open, 
watering is only dependent on the rain. This is my other Echeveria Colorata that I call Andoran Marie because I want to make sure that I don't uh, mix it up with my other ones. And it is slow growing but it is beautiful. So it has the Colorata shape and form and again just like the other Colorata that I have it's taking ages although this one is already two years old and it's got a baby so it's produced one baby so far unlike the other one that produce babies from the top this one has produced baby from the side so I have to put a different name to it just so I would know that uh, where I got it from and also I can keep track of its growth This is now three months later and I've taken my Andoran Marie on the right here that is grown in part shade, part sun and this one on the left of course is grown in the shade but look at the color so it's just much 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 prettier than this one's on the right which is it's actually grown quite large now and also the baby's got a baby the baby's grown big and well bigger and so these plants now they're ready for not this one I will still leave this as is but this one it's time to propagate this one and just so I can compare it I have another colorata here which has been grown in full sun and you notice anything so I'm gonna turn it around the back part is some darker shading of pink and of course there's a baby as well so it's almost similar to this Colorado here and if I turn it around yes broken pot because I was growing it outside there out in the open and then anyway because I had a disaster one time with uh, my CD tower that's where this one was being grown so but anyway now this one is now grown in full sun and the comparison with the three so I'll put it next to each other so you can see that the one grown in the shade is more colorful than this one and even that one even worse so with Colorado, if they're grown out in the sun in autumn, they tend to get bleach out more than if they are grown in the shade. Isn't that amazing? So if you haven't got an area where you can grow succulents outside out in the sun or full sun, you can grow it somewhere where it gets plenty of bright light. So again, I have to emphasize that plenty of bright light but even if without no direct sunlight, the colorata will still color up. Three months ago, I couldn't harvest them because they were still too young. Four, so the other one in the bottom might be hard to get to, so I have to pull out the pot. So this little baby plant like this, and what I want to do with this one is just, and voila, look at that. And now, that dirt there in the bottom, but it does so I don't like using roots to grow much quicker on the tip of this one no need to do direct killing but I might have to well I normally uh, check on it a couple of times